a pleasure to know that you're watching New Vision TV's Pal of Africa Diaries with me, your pal guide, Ruth Inaseje. And as we continue to look at the animals here in Uganda, today we look at an ostrich. Now, did you know that an adult ostrich can hardly fit in a normal room? This is because the height of a room is about three meters, and that is the height of an adult ostrich. Or did you know that an ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain. We have these details and more about an ostrich in today's edition. An ostrich is the world's largest flightless bird. These birds are known for their long necks and legs, which lift them high above the ground. In spite of their height, the ostriches were blessed with a very small head with a combination of one rounded eye measuring up to 5 centimeters and the tiniest of the brain. Their beak is flat and broad with a rounded tip. I think you see. Here is Dan Mirembe, a zookeeper at the Uganda Wildlife Education Center, who tells us how you could differentiate between a male and a female ostrich. By sexual differentiation, this one is a male, that's the coloration of the male, and those ones which are gray, they are female. So that's how you can tell the difference between a male and a female. So beside the coloration, you can as well tell from the size. And basically the ostriches, they are known to be the fastest running birds. So which make them to be faster than any other bird is because of the toes. So they have the toes, two toes, which is a powerful aid, which is a powerful aid that gives them the ability to be very fast. On the two toes of an ostrich, there is a large nail which resembles a hoof. It is this they use to kill predators. However, when threatened, ostriches run. These birds can run up to 70 kilometers per hour. They are also edible by some people. They are meat, if you can eat chicken, you can as well eat them. So another thing which is very outstanding about them, every animal has a defensive mechanism. That's what you have to notify. So the only the way how ostriches defend themselves is by kicking and they have a strong kick. Its kick, if it is kicked on a very sensitive part of a lion, it can as well kill a lion. So that's why we don't take it for granted when we go inside there, especially with the male. And it becomes intensive when they are in mating season. Ostriches do not have teeth but they feed. This is through swallowing and picking using the beak. These are the zoo are treated to carrots and eggplants, but what do those in the wild feed on? They eat the same food like the chicken we have at home. But with us here, we give them chicken mash. We put there some uh, vegetables like carrots, cabbages, eggplants, and then also sim sim. And then also in the wild, what they do, they eat on grass and then also some small insects and small reptiles like uh, frogs and lizards. So basically that is their diet. Unlike other birds, ostriches lay large eggs. In a month, they lay 15 eggs, but it is reported that they get to this figure by laying an egg every after two days. The most active months are February and June because they are dry months. In preparation for intubation, the male ostrich prepares the ground by digging a hole which is about one meter wide and one foot deep. In the hole, it pours in sand which helps in generating warmth for the laid eggs. Interesting about the ostrich is that during intubation, the male and the female take part. The female dominates during the day and the male takes over at night. 
After 45 days, the eggs hatch. At this time, the male ostrich takes over the hatchlings by teaching them how to feed and also defending them. And what does an expression barring one his head in the sand mean? Apparently, ostriches love dust bathing. They do this by burying their heads in the sand as the rest of the body is seen. Besides kicking, another defensive mechanism of an ostrich is by pressing their long necks in the sand. The mating sessions of an ostrich are said to be the nauseous. They make funny sounds which include roaring like a lion, booing and hissing. According to Mirembe, the lifespan of animals living under captivity is much longer than those who live in the wild. The longevity of the lifespan of every animal depends on where it is. So in captivity, they will live beyond than how they will live in the wild. So in captivity, they will live at an average of between 50 to 55, whereas the average lifespan in the wild is 45. So that's basically about the ostriches. Basically in Uganda, ostriches are found in Kidepo Valley National Park. Kidepo is located in the northeastern part of Uganda. Here is the scientific classification of an ostrich. Kingdom and Malia, Phylum Chudata, Class, Aves, Order, Struthioniforms, Family, Struthionidae, Genus, Struthio, Species, Struthio, Camelus. The adventures on New Vision TV's Pearl of Africa Diaries never end. And next time we shall look at yet another Ugandan animal. I am Ruth Naseje, your Pearl Guide.